got going on over here? What the heck? What the heck is that? TV. It's like a pencil. Utensil. They put your mouth on it and suck it out like a vacuum. Yeah, what are you working on? Ah, uh, intake manifold. Just testing which one's in best condition. We're just gonna delete everything besides what's necessary. Oh, okay. So you really gotta. So you're gonna work. You're working with this one primarily right now. I think the uppers are both the same. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is an S14 one. An S14 lower. Yeah. So we're just trying to figure out the heater core routing. And yeah. Vacuum. Nice. Little RTV, yeah, not a two. Nothing, pack. nothing to be concerned about. Zach is just giving, telling me that I should pick my camera up and show what's going on. Yeah, because so. we got a lot of stuff going on over here. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, Zach was welding ants. Ants balls deep in intake manifolds. Try tell, uh, tell them the situation at hand. Looks all right. I mean, we're gonna take the front apart, inspect the oil pump and the timing chain and guides and the tensioner, and make sure that's all. You New know, filmer on the channel. How New filmer on the channel. Regardless, what we find in here zach is even if we find a big chunk of something we're still gonna you're still going with it we're still gonna send it yeah. see how it Buddy, goes this is getting sent no matter what i promise you that just pulled out of a running car or it was supposed on a shelf that's somewhere what they all say right i think it came from prison yeah 10371 she was locked up <laughs> <laughs> let's check out the progress on the zach, front end over here zach point the camera at yourself Say, I did some welding. Did some welding? Yeah, I did some welding. Nothing, nothing major. Show them what you do. Show them. A little couple stitch welds. Logger in the make, dude. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Zach. Yep. Appreciate the hard work. So, well, you were a part of it. What else has to go on in here now? Fuck, I don't know. It's, it's just the preparation. Yeah. yeah. Now every. I like I mean, he's got the, the, show the, the show rib the nuts. The yeah. It's a removable radiator support. He's got that going. Thank you, Zach. Very smart. Because you want when you want to pull your engine, you just want to pop that thing off. You don't want to be banging in the shit. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably. We'll probably. Yeah. From the interior, yet? Yeah. They see it. They see it. Have, Zach, you don't watch the videos? I do. Okay. I got the this thing is gonna be ready soon. We're just gonna plug away on this probably i'll probably sand a little bit in here get it ready for sealer and then brian could seal it maybe in the next day or two if he gets some sealer might have to call up anthony see if we can get some supplies can't learn this stuff overnight people i'm telling you so i know i picked up on this video at a weird time but we are here late night but since there is a lot of bare metal we want to at least seal it at the most so we're sanding down all the welds, the spots that were welded, which is pretty much everywhere. Making quick work of it with the mini DA. We got too much with the sanding, so let's just fast forward to it looking a little better. Now too. That's not the right. That's not the right stuff. You should have asked me for the stuff. Snake oil. Not the right stuff. Good enough for me. My old cleanup is going on. Brian's over here. He blew out the engine bay, and now what are you applying? Edge primer. Uh huh. So it doesn't what? <laughs> Tell the people, Bri. It's a they nice don't. Primer so it doesn't rust overnight. And tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I need a little bit more painting and prep, but um, I get a painting this weekend. Let's we'll see what we can find for paint. Brian's gonna finish this tonight, and then tomorrow we will we will pick up on it. Are you gonna paint it tomorrow? Believe it or not. That would be. It could be possible. I'm not gonna get your guys' hopes up because Brian he doesn't really want to paint it right away. It seems so. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What happened? Is it bent? The bit? Oh, yeah. It was a minute ago. I hate this fucking thing. <laughs> I can't drill a hole with this. That was like the last good one. Oh. Oh, easy. All right, we're going to gonna cut the rest. By hand, right. free hand. That's good. Okay. Dagna, what do you think of the noise recently? <laughs> Why are you cutting? I'm fucking crying about the noise. Why are you cutting holes in your car? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Wants to run this right We're here. Running that. 
Dagnell had this puppy laying around. So on ice. For Brian. He knew you were going to do this one it, day. So he saved it for me. Stay in it. On the top. We're good. We're good. So you're going to just freehand the rest of it now? Well, it's got to get cut. I just need a round section here. Do you know what you're doing, bro? I've actually done this before. So I'd say yeah. I can't wait to see how you do it on your car, though. I'm doing it on my car ten times faster than I do it on anyone else's car. How does that work? Where did you come from? Cut this. Where did you come from? I'm here for collect a debt, Bri. Well, like, who's debt? We painting today, Dagnell? Don't film that. Damn, that's like the OEM shit, too. So Dagnell has, is experimenting, experiencing some uh, water seepage. Like most cars, it's very common. So he's uh, repairing it with OEM seam sealer right here that Brian had kicking around. Maybe put a little design in it. It's like your, your signature or something. Like Picasso? Brian, we don't need you. Look at Dagnell, he's seam sealing the whole rear yeah, panel. Where seam sealer's at? <laughs> Brian's. <laughs> Why not? Right, why didn't we why didn't we just do this with my 14 rear panel? Just dip it in that. I think that I think that was rock holes in it. I think that was an option. <laughs> I was for that option. And Brian wasn't. Not true. I showed him one day what that now grind all the fucking braces off. No, man. before it. Way before that. So after some trimming, the bolt holes are not where they're they just I, make a hole here. No, I, I think, are they supposed to be here? No, you gotta make a hole right here. Yeah, I knew that they didn't line up. Where's your other headlight hole? They fucking ripped out. And you're hitting right here on the piece that you made. Yeah, I know, we gotta trim it. Go Just letting you know. Thanks for the info. Gonna, gonna I gotta figure out uh, the, the height of this. I need, I need the radiator support. So I got these wheels that have been sitting over there for a while. I, need, I haven't got tires for them. These are off the M3, and they had some curb rash because the kid that I bought the car off of jumped, <laughs> jumped the guardrail, so it had pretty heavy curb rash. So I just sanded them. Started at 100, went, ended at like 1500. Now we're gonna hit it with the old poly. Little polisher, I'll polish. Want this polish, Fry? No. You don't care. Fry, you're, you're growing up, you're learning, you know? Get shit done, you know, quick. Brian, does that other tub need to be stripped still? Oh. The wheel tub. After I do this, I'll start fucking with that. I'm almost done. Skinny in a bottle. going too much. <laughs> we call this working smarter, not harder. Why? Just work harder. <laughs> Make it real fucking difficult on yourself. Yeah, it goes up. I know. I know. Right, it's almost like you do this for a living. You just make it look easy. Thanks, DJ. You do. Detachable radiator support, custom mid-mount. Out of the way, a harm's way. Need him a fat bash bar. A fat bash bar would be nice. Not a big one, but, you know, like a bull bar. I'm just gonna get a street faction bash bar. Okay, those are pretty chunky. He left some room over here, so not if, but when he gets into a little collision, it doesn't pierce the intercooler. Then we, he could stay on the road. See, and then these little spacers here, you jolt some holes into the top of the radiator support. Bing, bing, right there. Trim this a little bit. When running these, you're definitely gonna have to trim quite a bit. The stuff that gets me going right there. Some cream sealer. It's, you know, fast forward to everything being seam sealed. There's a good amount of it. Like I said, no tape here. You see, I'm happy now, Brian. You're happy now? Yeah. Oh, Anthony. Is Anthony making you work more, Brian? He wanted me to do the hinge. What am I gonna do when I fucking fold the hinge in half? What do you think of the progress in the car thus far? You remember how it looked, right? Yeah, it looks better. It does look better. He made the no, he made the mid mount setup straight here. He saw buckle in. Buckled. Now these two pieces instead of one. Convenience. Now you can remove the engine like. Quick and easy. 
This is a convenient drift car, bro, right? Everything you're protect you're checking your boxes off so when something happens, it won't be hard to get back out there. You shot the spot the welds? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're all front end. Stiff as a brick. Stiff. A lot of seam sealer. So we're gonna scuff this once he's done doing it. And then base, then paint. The the colors, you guys aren't gonna guess the color. But you'll see it. Everything's moving, lickety split over here, all the seam sealer, blade, etch primer, gray scotch spray. Brian is now hitting it with 800 just to clean it up a little bit and then we're gonna wax and grease. Clean it and then sealer. Pretty fucking cool though. Clean the shit up, Bri. This is exciting stuff here, Bri. Are we gonna stay nice and calm during the, pro the process? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. I haven't decided yet. You think you'd have a cleaner workspace if I uh, here? I haven't stopped working. You've been going. People ask how you do it. People, a lot of people ask me. They don't know how you go to work and then do this. Yeah, I don't know how I do it. We got three of the top painters in the area under the same roof. But you. Spoon don't paint. Spoon <laughs> paint. Brian don't paint. Anthony. I don't paint either. I don't paint. Yeah. Paint. It's like saying I paint. You paint. Look it up. Nice and calm, Brian. Don't rush it. The first time I see Brian painting. The first time? The first it's a rare time I see sight. Brian he doesn't like to paint, but he is good at it. If you look at, if you look at my 14 day. Brian did it. get out of here though. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but look at outside. Look at inside. It's pretty ripe in here, but sealer is laid. You went with Nardo Gray, Bri. You threw him yeah, through a loophole. Yeah. You guys will see the color here soon. Bri, I know you're on the time crunch, but Everything went according to plan? Yeah. Good. Very good. Beautiful. Right, what else we got in a little bit? It's been hanging out. Yeah. That's my shoe. <laughs> vans are so poorly made. It don't even say vans on it anymore. It's like a piece of <laughs> gum. It like a chiclet like gum. Like a stick of gum. First coat of base going down. Let's see if we can see the uh, the mixture. Where is the mixture, Anthony? Ah! Like what is metallic like, silver? Blue oh. silver. Bluish metallic silver. Surprise! Bow, bow, bow. This thing is water based. It smells like straight cow shit. Water based. I told you, straight shit, right? Cow shit, right? that I can't. We'll just fast forward to it being sprayed in base. First coat, base, down, done. Ryan's leaving this crazy like comb looking no, thing at the... Well, we're using water-based paint this time, which is like weird. You wouldn't normally see people using that in their shops like this, but I had it. Ryan's friend, he got it from today, got it for him, so. You gotta work with what you got. There's nothing wrong with water-based paint. I use it all the time. It's like what we use in, you know, most production shops that are up to date use water -based. So correct me if I'm wrong, me being the painter that I'm not, wouldn't it be foolish to be blowing like compressed air at a fresh paint job? You have to on water. Water does not dry on its own. You literally have to evaporate the water out of the paint. Is this seafoam blue? Seafoam blue? 
I like that. Yeah, see how this side looks blue greenish, and this side's starting to look more silver. Because it's dry. It dries, it dries a different color. Yeah. Why'd you go with this color, Bri? They're probably asking, oh, this, that, this is what you wanted. I wanted silver. Let the compressor charge. Run out of air too fast. I'm impressed, Bri. I'm impressed. Because you didn't prep this that much, and that's good. I know how to cheat. <laughs> This is, this is what I ask for, Anthony. This is what I expect when I do all my cars. Yeah. But you two allow me to not do that, which kind of is we a... We want like right here, we want like yeah. right here. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... This is fucking sick. I think this looks crazy. This looks fucking sick. What I this a car little... was a couple of days ago, it is unbelievable. We haven't been digging into this too much, and to see it where it is right now, so wow. sick. Fry, you updating your story right now? Or can you explain I a little bit? I put it on, I don't know. You could, that's fine. What I should do. Nothing's a secret on this channel. I got more followers than you do with subscribers. No you don't. No I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be on Instagram. Explain what what has been going on. I've been we showing been it, little by little. The base. Because it's water based, I really want to make sure it's dry. We got the heat cranking. I've been blowing it. I think it's pretty much there. I mean, it's it's dry to the touch now, but it's just something you kind of really want to be sure of. So, and typically, I mean, water-based paint is 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 all new, right? New, uh, new in the technology. Last Ten years or so, it's fresh technology. So it all has really good pigment. It all has really good coverage. It's not like on a silver you gotta do four coats because you're trying to cover sand scratches. Water base doesn't have that issue. It's just like a coat and a half, and I kind of did another little drop just to make sure the metallic. Some touch-ups. The color is sick. Silver Surfer, little splash, blue flake, but still very silvery. No blue flake. There's blue pearls. In blue it. pearl. I'm um, same thing. I mean. Now in the sun, you'll probably really see it. It'll probably pop in well, shadows. It looks a little dark. You can't tell right now. It needs clear coat. This is so. This is the base is done. Now the next step will be clear. Mm -hmm. all people, like, yeah, you could. They're gambling. You could so now that the smoke uh, has cleared, I appear. Brian appears, and he has a brand new, fresh painted 240SX. Which is a huge thing, huge moment. Yeah, that feels. I mean, that was the goal. That was our goal. Right? This is the you main gotta, goal. You guys gotta have goals. You got you know, it. If you don't have goals, what do you have? Fucking, I don't know. Hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Yeah. You gotta put you shit in that one hand and put your hopes and dreams in the other. See which one fills up faster. You gotta put the ink to the paper. We haven't been writing down our goals recently, but we've been accomplishing them. Which feels good. So now we need to find Brian a transmission. He has a sparkly engine bay, sparkly radiator support that's detached from the car. But if you guys been following, it all makes sense. I don't know what he's gonna do with the tubs, but this was step number whatever. We've been working hard for what, like three weeks, two weeks? It hasn't been that long. I don't know, but it feels long. We made quick work of it. We got dry spots anywhere. Dude, look at the back of the strut towers. Show them the back of the strut towers, man. We got dry spots back there. What does that look like, kid? Dry. Professional job. Right? It looks dry. No, it does not. You didn't see that spot, Brian? Yeah. He's capping. He's capping. He's fully capping. Is it dry? Look at that. Should we touch it? Don't touch it. It's not dry. It's not touching it. It's dry. That spot you do see too. I know. Don't. It's dry. Stop touching it. Bay is painted. Now, the engine. Boys, There's another a cop there. Yeah, maybe take all that off right now. So, all this has to come off. I'm not gonna bore you guys with stripping this off. Let's do that while the clear still a little. But short. just know, stuff is happening. Brian's car is moving along splendidly. If we have uh, cleaned all this up better before we painted it, yeah, probably. But we have goals. In expectations. And our goals need to have be accomplished. So we'll go back, wire wheel the shit out of this. And uh, put some sort of stuff on it. It's tintable, but we will see. What? Yeah. What do you mean? To match the bay. No, do we have leftover no. paint? Is there leftover the paint? Opposite. Is there leftover? Maybe the opposite. Of the co color of the car. So plot twist, Brian is not painting the car this color, but you guys will see soon coming what color the exterior of the car will be. For tonight? I mean, 
Yeah. Mission accomplished. We Plastic. Brian did what he wanted to do. Uh, I'll, I'll, that next step. Everyone, it was, uh, you know, everyone on deck, though. Well, I appreciate all the help. You guys did a great job. We did what we could do. It's good stuff. Easy, easy. We're back the next day. I didn't want to end this video because I wanted to show it to you guys. Cured, flashed. Here it is. He All wants, done. He wants to show it so you can touch it. Touch it yeah, because the color it. changes after a day a little bit. You know, it's. I wish we could roll it because it's beautiful out. Oh, uh, can we bring it outside out quick? Right now. How how are we gonna do that? Subframes in the car. Over here. We'll just take it lift up, it up. It. Spoon and Stevie. All right, back inside. We see you put the radiator support on, Bry. The front mount, the mid no. mount. Sturdy. It looks oh, killer. It's dirty. It looks killer. I'm not gonna touch the paint too much, but here it is. Now we gotta wait for the subframes and we gotta do the bushings and all that. And Brian still needs a transmission. So if anybody knows of a KA trans in the East Coast, local to Connecticut. When I say local, hundred mile radius. But here it is. It's very cool to see how far this thing's coming. I know I've said it, but. If you got goals, you know, you just got to follow them. You got to shoot for the moon, is what they say. Shoot for the moon and man amongst the stars. That's it. They Someone said that before. Someone. So, yeah, we're going to continue to uh, plug away at it and see what we could do further to get the engine in preparation. So let me know what you guys think of Brian's color. Tell him what you guys think of it. It looks phenomenal. We know. So stay tuned. More exciting stuff to come in the next one. So I'll see you guys then.